हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम टू डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग डॉट ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट कॉम टूडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू टेक यूजर कंट्रोल इन साइड टूल बार सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल एड सम आइटम्स इन टूल बार यूजिंग स्टैक फैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एड ए स्टैक फैनल इन द टूल बार आफ्टर दैन यू कैन एड सम आइटम्स इन द स्टैक फैनल इन विच ऑपरेशन your stack panel orientation is horizontal so add a text block control with the text that is first just after you can add the text boxes so similarly uh, for your next text boxes and the text block you can do this the same things okay uh, i want in this by using this tutorial i want to add Uh, our user control or you can say uh, your module or your visual module that's known as the user control you can add manually in the toolbar uh, by using the name spaces and uh, some other things so in the doc panel actually doc panel is used uh, to dock your uh, panels uh in a top positions bottom and the left and right and centers these are the panels uh of the dock so height is 60 and run this form just after adding your text block and the text boxes so convert the text block with the text box and same thing is doing here with the width property that is uh 100 pixels okay now remove the text from the text box that is first first of all copy that in the and just after paste it so remove the text from the text boxes and change the text of the second text block that is second okay that's fine now you can run this and start it by using the start button yeah that's your menu item is customized now how to add a user control in place of your stack panel so first of all add a wpf user control not the windows form user control add a user control wpf that's file extension is .xaml so add it properly and copy your stack panel content and paste in the user control or you can also design other things in the user control okay now first of all add a name space that is wpf application 15 local uh, search wpf application 15 now add it this yeah that's fine add a user control in the page that's your application name space now add a user control by using the simple local tag and add a user control that's fine okay now run it again and check your same output that is seen before few seconds okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this wpf tutorial and keep watching my all other wpf tutorials